Good morning. Our topic for today is about introduction to agriculture. What is agriculture? So agriculture is derived from two Latin words, agar and culture, which means agar is a field and culture is cultivation. So if you combine agar plus culture, it means that a cultivation of field, soil, or land. So the question is, is agriculture can only find in cultivation? The answer is a big no, because it also includes uh, crop production, livestock farming, fishery, forestry, and other sectors of agriculture. So the cultivation and production of crops and plants, raising of livestock animals for economic purposes and for human needs. So that is agriculture. It can also be defined as the science and art of farming, including the work of cultivating the soil, producing crops, planting forests, plants and trees, uh, raising livestock and rearing of fishes. So agriculture has three main sphere. So we have the geoponic, hydroponic, and the aeroponic. So let's discuss one by one. Geoponic. So geoponic is um, the farming practice referred to growing plants in a normal soil. Hydroponic is the type of horticultural and a subset of hydroculture which involves growing plant, usually crops without soil, by using mineral nutrient solution in an aqueous solvent. While aerophonic is the process of growing plants in an air or mist environment without the, without the use of soil or an aggregate medium, and aeroponics is conducted without a growing medium. So it is sometimes considered is um, a type of hydrophonic since water is used in aeroponics to transmit um, nutrients. We will also discuss the different branches of agriculture. So we have uh, a lot of branches of agriculture, but I just listed uh, the common branches of agriculture, namely agronomy, horticulture, agricultural engineering, agricultural economics, animal science, forestry, and fisheries, or what we call aquaculture. So let's start with agronomy. So when you say agronomy, this is the application of science and technology from the fields of biology, chemistry, economics, ecology, soil science, water science, best management and genetics to the improvement and management of the major food crops of the world. When you say horticulture, this is a branch of plant agriculture dealing with garden crops, generally fruits, um, vegetables, and ornamental plants. Horticulture is divided into the cultivation of plants for food, which is pomology and olericulture and plants for ornament, which is floriculture and landscape horticulture. Next, we have agricultural engineering. So this is also known as agricultural and biosystems engineering. So this is the field of study and the application of engineering science and the science principle for agriculture purposes, combining the various discipline of mechanical, civil, electrical, food science, environmental, software, and chemical engineering to improve the efficiency of farms and agribusiness enterprise, as well as to ensure a sustainability of natural and renewable resources. It can also be means um, or involves knowledge of farm machineries and equipment, which is, um, it deals uh, in a developing of a new system and practices to address the problems that are facing by uh, farmers or in agriculture. Next, we have agricultural economics. So this is a study of allocation, distribution, and utilization of the resources used along with the commodities produced by farming. Agricultural economics plays a role in the economics of development for a continuous level of farm surplus 
is one of the wellsprings of technological and commercial growth. Agricultural economics also deals with the business end of farming. So this is also known or can also be called as agronomics. Next, we have animal science. So basically, animal science is the breeding and caring of animal for a specific purposes, such as for meat, uh, milk, for etc. So again, animal science described as studying the biology of animals that are under the control of humankind. So it can also be described as the production and management of farm animals. Next, we have forestry. So when you say forestry, this is a science and craft of creating, managing, planting, using, conserving, and repairing forest, woodlands, and associated resources for human and environmental benefits. Forestry is practice in plantations and natural stands. The science of forestry has elements that belong to biological, physical, social, political, and managerial sciences. Um, forest management play essential role of creation and modification of habitats and affect ecosystem services provisioning. Next, we have fisheries or aquaculture. So fisheries is the science of producing fish and aquatic resources for the purpose of providing human food, although other aims are possible, such as sport or recreational fishing, or obtaining ornamental fish or fish products such as fish oil. Now let's talk about the importance of agriculture. So I listed six common importance of agriculture. Number one, it is the source of livelihood. So um, it is main source of livelihood. Approximately 70% uh, of the people directly rely in agriculture as a mean of living. Next, we have the contribution to national income. Agriculture is the main source of national income for the most um, developing countries such as the Philippines. Next, supply for food and fodder. Aquaculture uh, provides the basic needs when it comes to food and fodder for human and domestic animals. So moreover, um, livestock animals also meets uh, the people's food requirement. Next, we have a source of raw material. So agriculture is the main source of raw materials for uh, big industries. So uh, they are uh, they used some of the agricultural products such as rice, um, cotton for fabric, sugar, tobacco, as well as oils. Next is for foreign exchange resources. So um, the nation export trade depends largely on agricultural sector. So agriculture commodities accounts um, for approximately at least 18% uh, of the entire uh, value of a country or the export of the country. So it means that agriculture products are very important uh, source of earning a country foreign exchange. So when we speak, when we speak foreign exchange resources, we speak in exporting products to other countries. So one of the best um, products that we export, especially in Middle East, is aquaculture products because aquaculture products uh, for the Middle East country, they believe it is a halal food. Next, we have great employment opportunities. So um, agriculture provides uh, more employment opportunities to the labor force that reduce the high rate of unemployment caused by the fast rate of increasing population. And of course, especially nowadays uh, during a pandemic, um, agriculture helps also uh, in dealing um, or giving employment opportunities to other um, people that uh, affects or affects the pandemic. So it's, that's the end of our lesson for today. So after this discussion, you will be notified by our by the 
uh, pre-test or diagnostic test. So again, pre-test or pre-assessment test is a test taken by students before a unit exam or before the new unit to find out what the students need more instruction on and what they may know or already know. So pre-assessment is a way to give teachers time within the classroom when teaching new material. So that is uh, from Wikipedia. So see you tomorrow or see you next week for another topic about agriculture. Bye, everyone.